Do you want to talk about it? I would love to talk to you about why the fuck you would vote for Trump. Come on. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why you would vote for Trump. This would be so good. Oh, come on. Come in. Please talk to me. Here, join the Discord. Only Dimensions. Get in the Discord. Only Dimensions. Join the Discord. Come on. Let's talk about it. I'll do... I promise. I'll be nice. I won't be too mean. Well, I... I I'll be as... I'll be as nice as possible. I'll be nice. Join the Discord. Come on. You know, you can't be... You're not a boomer, right? You can join the Discord. Join the Discord. Let's talk about it. It's election time. We gotta... We gotta... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's a late turnaround. I'm gonna... I'm... The election is coming soon. I have to talk to these people. So let's do it. Come on. Come on in. Let's talk about it. Come on. <gasps> you did it. You made it. Okay. You just have to accept the rules and then get into the the stream call in and we'll talk about it. Come on. Boop. You have to click the little demon icon and then it'll you have to say I agree to the rules basically. You press the little icon and then you can jump in to the waiting room. And I'll pull you into stream Collins. Are you a bad enough dude to click the demon icon? I sure hope so. And then just jump into the waiting room voice channel and I'll bring you in. Just waiting. Just get in the waiting room there. I see you joined the Discord. Click it. Click the demon. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, can of witchy. Not tonight. Well, maybe. We'll see how long this goes. We'll keep it. I won't run forever. But but we got to do a debate every once in a while. We got to do a discussion about voting every once in a while. It's important. It's right before the election. I could burn the candle a little bit. Come on. Dimensions, you got to get in the voice chat. There we go. Hello. Dimensions. Hello. Can you hear me? You hear me? I can hear you. Let me just uh, fiddle with your audio levels real quick. Let me just boost your audio just a tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, I haven't been on this computer in a while, so. Okay. Uh, it might be, I might be, might be a little too loud, I don't know. Okay, let me just see here. Listen, don't go too hard on me. This is my first time doing this, okay? Nah, 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 nah. I, Thanks I, for coming I just, on. I just became, it takes a lot yeah, to come I mean, onto a show like this. Yeah, yeah so, you know, I just turned 18. I just started paying attention to this stuff, type okay. of stuff, you know? So what 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 makes you think that, you, that Donald Trump is going to make a good president? Well, he already has been a good president. Really? Basically, basically, the basic things, low taxes, are super low right now. Super low. Well, for who? And employment rates, well, for everybody. For you, I'm middle class, and it's, and it's way lower than it was with Obama. Okay. That's a fact. Really? And employment rates are at an all-time low before COVID. Okay. That's a that's a fact. I mean, well, they uh, was doing like... You know that they changed the way that they measure unemployment, right? Ball way, ball way. Um, they changed it from from people who are actually unemployed to people who are unemployed and seeking employment, um, and that made the numbers look smaller than they actually are because there's a lot of people who are basically permanently unemployed and there are no jobs in their area, so they aren't technically yeah. seeking employment anymore, and that means they don't they didn't count. So it's actually not <laughs> completely actually it's not completely true that Donald Trump's numbers were better. They change the way that they measure it, so you can't actually really compare those easily between Obama and and Donald Trump. And also, <laughs> during that same period of time, um, are you familiar with like what the gig economy is? No, what is that? Okay, so the gig economy is stuff like um, Uber Eats, um, Uber okay. drivers, Lyft, um, stuff like that. They're like uh, they're called gig jobs. So a gig job is like a job where um, instead of like clocking in like a normal job you like you have an app and you take things by contract and um the thing with those is that those count as an empl employment whether or not you're actually making enough money to be fully like to, to actually pay for things so like if you have a job with lyft or with uber um you'll be considered employed even if you're not actually working enough hours to make a living and there's a lot of people in that position there's a lot of people who um have signed up and who have worked at one time or another with Uber or Lyft, but it's not enough for them to make a living. So you see yeah. how that might actually mean that the unemployment numbers are 
you know, probably yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah, I understand it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I, I'm just, I ain't gonna lie to you. I just learned, I just read about all this stuff like last week. Oh, so. that's cool though. So I'm, pay, I'm paying attention, you know. Yeah, that's like, good. Now and then. Yeah, Man, no, I mean, like again, big mind. props for being willing to discuss it. Seriously. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Then he speaks his mind about everything. He, he's not a, you know how he is. You know how he is. You know how other presidents are. Where they back off, don't they don't say what's really on the mind, hmm. but he says it. he don't care. Second, the other thing is he's not a racist like everyone claims. I mean, he done so many things for all the races. I mean, look at the poverty rates. I mean, they're like at the lowest percentage in the history of our country. I mean, no, that's not I mean, true that's, at that's all. all. So that's not true at all. I we're actually in a like we're in a really rough spot um, right now. Like, I mean, we're looking at um, like I mean. Of course, there's COVID going on, but you can't exactly, like, discount that. Like, he's been the president during COVID, and he's done things that have objectively harmed our country during COVID. Like, I mean, his yeah. handling of, of COVID has been truly disastrous. Um, and the well, only I mean, person wait. the only person who doesn't believe that is Donald Trump and his most staunchest supporters. But everyone else, every other scientist, even economists have said that he's done an absolutely terrible job dealing with COVID. So it's not actually true that that we had the lowest poverty in in American history. He says that a lot, but it's not actually true. And uh, someone in my chat, um, one of my mods, Gayfesh here, um, brought up a really good point, which is that speaking your mind isn't a virtue if your mind isn't virtuous. And he says a lot of lies. He may say them confidently, but he does say things that are very untrue. And um, does that too. I mean, what's that? Said Biden does that too. He does well, that maybe, lie, actually. maybe to a certain degree. I think there's. I it's think. Like, uh... Just like fracker, 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 frackery. What's it fracking? called? Uh, fracking. Yeah. He's totally supports that. That's a that's a lie. He said he supported that multiple times. Wait, yeah, he does. Well, wait, no, he, no, 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 not support it. I mean, he wants to get rid of it like Obama did. Oh no, he, he said he, that multiple he, times. He actually said that um, pretty clearly. You can actually get v video footage. He says he doesn't. He yeah. he said explicitly that he doesn't support fracking on federal lands. Not that he doesn't support fracking at all. And by the way, um, like I don't like that. I wish that he would not support fracking. I'm very, I'm much more, um, I'm much more environmentalist than Biden is. In fact, I, there's a lot of things I don't agree with Biden on. But um, yeah. to to talk about the thing about um, you know Donald Trump not being racist. I mean, just tonight we just watched, we just got done watching the um, debate, and in that debate, um, he said. Um, oh, these Mexicans that they're bringing over the border, they're rapists, they're murderers. He said that line again. That's pretty racist. I mean, and then also he said, and this was, comes over the borders, though. well, wait, but he was asking, he was at being asked about the, the children that he separated from parents at the border. And he said, yeah. oh, well, you know, these are rapists, but we, they weren't talking about like illegal immigrants. They were talking about asylum seekers who ended up being separated and he still called them ra ra rapists and murderers. That's pretty terrible. That seems racist. And then right so, after that, he went on to say, China is a filthy, disgusting country. India is a disgusting, filthy country. Like, don't you feel like that's pretty racist? I mean, it's some, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it's kind of what racist. What do you think about immigration? What's that? What do you think about like immigration? Oh, I mean, um, as far as we can tell, as far as every study that's ever been done on immigration shows that immigration doesn't hurt the economy. Um, there is um, there's one group of people who are harmed slightly, um, which is um, uh, non-high school graduates. So people who don't graduate from high school, um, when immigration goes up, their wages like decrease by like 2% approximately. Um, and But that's so minor that it would actually be cheaper for the government to encourage immigration and then give money to those people. It would be cheaper for the government to do it that way. And actually multiple people, like not even, again, and, and this isn't even like a, a partisan issue. This is just economists have said, yeah, actually immigration is really good for us. It brings all kinds of people into our country who then buy things, who then pay taxes, who then, you know, contribute mm -hmm. to their environments. We have tons of space in the country. It's not an issue of space. Um, yeah. A lot of anti-immigration sentiment um, is like they ignore the, that the economic impact of immigrants is positive. We're a nation of immigrants after all. Like our whole history has been immigration. Um, it's been very good for us. They ignore that and then they fixate on, well, I mean, honestly, if I'm completely honest, um, they um, fixate on race a lot of times. Like Donald Trump seems to be pretty fixated on um, like he doesn't worry about um, illegal immigration from 
anywhere else except for Mexico, pretty much. And he says they're like, he calls Mexicans that are trying to come to our country like a, a horde of like, like he's literally called them like a, like a horde of people that are invaders. He used to call them invaders. He hasn't been saying that as much lately, probably because it was polling really bad. But, um, but like, yeah. So a lot of times when people are like anti-immigration, that's actually just them like being racist and telling you that they're not racist. They're like, oh no, I'm not racist. But then you're like, well, then why do you care? And like, well, maybe it hurts the economy. And it's like, well, studies show that it doesn't hurt the economy. So what's the reason? And why do you only care about illegal immigration from Mexico? It sounds like you just sounds like, you know, people like that, including Trump kind of just hate Mexicans. Right. So do you what are your opinions on the the uh, the children being separated from their families? Oh, it's terrible. Horrible. At the border. Yeah. You, you know who, who built those cages, right? Oh, yeah, I no, know who built the cages. Joe Biden administration. Yeah. Well, it was, it was Obama's administration. I mean, they, Joe Biden's, uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they built yeah. the cages. They didn't use them, though. And that is actually a difference. Like, I, like again, I'm a leftist. Like, I'm not a um, Democrat. Like, yeah. But I recognize that, like, I mean, I think we all can recognize that when, when it gets this close to an election, you have a choice between two people. You choose between the two candidates. Um, yeah. And I would argue that near like there's only a very small amount of people who benefit from Donald Trump being president and i think that it's mostly people who are related to Donald Trump Donald Trump doesn't really mm -hmm. care about anybody else and um his tax plan um would would ruin the middle class like you know that he's talked about um like very specifically he's been very open about um talking about wanting to cut the payroll tax the payroll tax which is used to um fund social security like that means mm -hmm. that you yourself, like you're 18 right now. That means if under Donald yeah. Trump, that when you're old, you won't have any income because he cut it. He cut the way that we fund that. But it's pretty bad, isn't it? Joe Biden, I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, but you don't think Joe Biden tax, tax, like whatever, I forgot what you say. What, what do you call it again? Tax plan? Tax plan? Tax plan, yeah. They're bad. Yeah, it's tax plan. I mean, Joe Biden's tax plan probably has some flaws in it, but it's certainly much more realistic than Donald Trump's. Um, Donald Trump's tra taxes have always focused on making on making um, big cuts for Wall Street. And he doesn't seem to like his tax plan literally doesn't do anything for the poorest people in this country. And while maybe in some circumstances you could say like that wouldn't be as big of a deal if the economy was really good. Well, right now, uh, there's a lot of poor people in this country right so now because of COVID. And if that's the case, and he's not offering anything to them, then they're going to have a harder time, and Wall Street's going to have an easier time, even though we know that that the top billionaires in the country have made tons of money, um, like tons and tons of money off um, during this pandemic. So they're doing fine. Why would we need to help them more? Right? Because, like, yeah. they can, they, they're they fine. They have all the money they need, but if all of our workers are dying, then how is our country going to continue? And Donald Trump doesn't seem to care. Like he straight up told him, he tweeted over Twitter. He caused the stock market to crash with this, but he tweeted over Twitter um, that like, oh, stop negotiating on the um, the relief package. That hurts you and me. And he okay, did that you, personally. What, yeah, what do you think about the health care plan? Biden? Donald Trump's health care plan? No, Biden's. Oh, Biden? Um, Like a public yeah. option? Well, um. Uh, yeah, he supports a public option. I mean, I prefer. Um, I, again, I'm a leftist, so I I aim for yeah. universal health care. Um, I really like the the whole socialized um, medicine. I think it's been really successful. And most countries who've adopted socialized medicine, their um, their like the health of their population goes way up, because um, if you don't have to worry about money um, when you're sick. Um, and like it's handled, like the government negotiates that stuff. People actually um, will go get the help they need before it becomes a big problem. So like a big problem that we have here in the United States, for example, is that like um, people won't like say you get like um, like you start getting a pain in your leg or something, right? Um, people are afraid of having to pay if they go to the hospital, so they'll ignore it. And then when it turns out that was a blood clot, then they have a major heart attack because they didn't go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Um, then that becomes like millions of, you know, it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars at that point. And they don't go because they're afraid of having to pay up front because we have, you know, private health care um, or none. A lot of people have none right now. Um, so when I look at Joe's plan, I don't think Joe Biden's plan is like um, 
like the best plan in the world because but he does he does say that it's a you know he the goal is to build a public option which means that any person who can't afford health care can get some form of health care and i think that's pretty good they still did it but obamacare and obamacare was a flop well we it, well it wasn't actually I mean, like um obamacare uh, was o obamacare didn't succeed at bringing us to um to like universal health care um but Obamacare did actually give hundreds of thousands of Americans who didn't have health care previously health care. And it wasn't perfect, but it actually did succeed. Um, when people say that Obamacare was a failure, um, I always have to ask, like, well, in what way did it fail? Um, was the individual mandate not popular? Yeah, it wasn't popular. And um, there's like, I would argue there's... Man. What's that? It's way expensive. And right now, bro, there's like, like almost 30 million people uninsured right now from it due to obamacare well it's not because of obamacare like ridiculously um, expensive well it's not because of obamacare that um that that happened like the the people being uninsured is a result of the private health care industry not obamacare like um like uh and and like i i don't mean this to sound like condescending or anything you you said you're 18 right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i'm i'm 30 so um when i was your age i couldn't get health care legally because i'm trans i'm transgender yeah so um i because of the pre-existing conditions um i could not get it like they you were not were not allowed because they would say that oh being trans is a pre-existing condition um being born with diabetes pre-existing condition you can't get health care so just that alone even though there were parts of obamacare that didn't succeed like the individual mandate was something that like was not popular and it put undue financial burden it was also something i didn't support at the time um mm -hmm. but it did actually succeed in a lot of ways and while for some people mostly like upper middle class people healthcare became a little bit more expensive it made it possible for hundreds of thousands of poorer people to actually get health care so i feel like that's actually kind of a success don't you think like if it actually did succeed at getting hundreds of thousands of americans health care even if even if it wasn't perfect it was kind of a success right yeah yeah it was yeah it was a success in some ways but yeah well, but I mean the way I that mean, Trump, time, yeah, yeah. When when Trump when Trump says things like um like uh like oh Obamacare was a big failure, um he usually doesn't say why he thinks that. He just says it was. The reason why he thinks that is because it cost more for health insurance companies, and he's heavily supported by health insurance companies. So mm -hmm. for for health insurance companies, maybe they consider that you know, um, that Obamacare was a failure. But when I think about public policy, I think about, well, how does this help Americans? Not necessarily how does this help health insurance companies? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Then with the, with it, fewer, it gives fewer insurance choices. Like according to the federal and state data of the insurer exchange option per country, more than 50% of our nation's counties have only one insurer in 2018. Over 30% oh. of our counties are limited to two insurers. This means roughly four to five counties will have either just one or two Obamacare exchange insurers to choose from. Yeah. Um, well, and, and I would say that, like, uh, that's still definitely a big problem. Like, I think that's a problem under any plan. But but um, but Trump's plan doesn't doesn't help with that. Trump's plan, if anything, would make less options available. Um, reason being is that he wants to get he wants to disassemble um, Obamacare and he hasn't published um like um it, it, he hasn't published like any meaningful plan like this is the thing people keep asking him about and he says oh we're gonna have this 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 american plan out but then he stalls on it and people wonder well maybe it's because he doesn't have anything better and that's what it certainly seems like it seems like to me that he wants to get rid of obamacare to to make his insurance like the, the insurance companies happy because they'll be making more money but then that would that could leave people with instead of one or two choices, which isn't good. I will agree. I mean, I would argue that like the choices aren't really what matters. What matters is the quality, right? Like, um, I don't really care if I can choose between three garbage. Like, imagine like the way that I look at it is like, imagine if you go to like a restaurant and they offer you um, like green trash, blue trash, and red trash. None of those are good, mm -hmm. right? So I would rather have mm -hmm. one meal that's not trash than three trash meals, right? Like that makes sense. Yeah. So like, 
um, it, with that in mind, like the number doesn't necessarily matter. What matters is that you're getting good, good health care. And if Donald Trump's op says that the only benefit of his plan is going to give you more options, well, are they going to be better options? Or will you just have to choose between five plans that don't cover you? Yeah. Yeah. And that's my concern with, with, with Trump is that, um, I mean, and, and we've seen that kind of, you know, over his last four years, um, the way that he's handled um, health insurance has been not actually very good. And a lot of Americans no longer have health insurance at this point. And some of that, um, some, some of those problems were like carryovers of the, of the, of the private healthcare industry. Like private healthcare is a really complicated industry, but a lot of that was because of Donald Trump's like policymaking. And like he cut, he cut Medicaid. Mm. Medicaid mm. covers a lot of people and he cut that. He cut money to it. So people, and those keep in mind, Medicaid covers mostly poor people. So yeah. those people lost Medicaid coverage and now they have, they can't afford anything else. And that was Trump. Well, uh, Biden wants to bring back penalizing those who can't afford to pay for private insurance. I don't think he does. You know that? I don't think he did. I don't think he supports uh -huh. an individual mandate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he does. Nope. Yeah, I, um, I haven't uh, seen that on his plan. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong. That he but... gonna race. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Nah, uh, my, my, my scary is he's, he's even trying to raise prices for uh for medication for that treats cancer. He's trying to raise those prices. I who, mean, who, what? Wait, Biden is? Biden, Biden wait, why would he is, say yeah. that? Wait, wh where do you have, know, where, where's that I'll citation? Show, show you, I've never show, heard of that. I don't, I don't want, I don't want, um, he actually fought, personally fought to make it unaffordable. No, I've never heard of that. I, I would love to see some evidence on that. I, like, cause I have never heard of that. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you can, if you, you can just click on my name in the discord and then just DM it to me. Should allow you to DM. I don't, I think I have my DMs open. I could take a look at it because that would be really interesting. I've never heard of that. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean, again, like, I don't think, uh, I, I've never heard of that. I do know that t even tonight, like, um, Biden's been pretty loud about him saying that he wants to make it so that the um, the government can negotiate um, on the prices of, of drugs because we have a problem right now where um, – private like private pharmaceutical companies like for example yeah. are you familiar with the drug um rem remdesivir it's the covid uh, drug no. Uh, uh, no, I you haven't no, okay no, no, no. so um <laughs> there's a company there's a, a a company called gilead which is a big pharmaceuticals company and they make a drug called remdesivir and it's a a, a treatment for co like nobody knows for sure how effective it is but it's been it's apparently showed some level of effectivity in helping um severe cases of covid it cost them ten dollars a bottle to make it but they charge three thousand dollars a bottle that's mm -hmm. just fact and biden yeah. wants to end that by saying no the government can step in and say you can't do that that's not fair to me that sounds like a good thing that sounds like he wants to lower prices not increase them well right here it says hold up. Let, me, let me see what it says yeah, right. let me look at this. i guess i'm up. up stat news okay let's take a look i'm not familiar with this um this website let's see Let's take a look. Oh, this is an opinion piece. Joe Biden wants to be president, champion of working families. Another side. First, a bit of history. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, so let's see. The next of our decision. Okay, so this looks like, let's see. In 2012, the controller of the Indian Patents Office granted a compulsory license to patents for the for the the cancer drug sorafenib, marketed as Nexvar by Bayer, a German pharmaceutical company. Compulsory license allows a company to produce a patented drug without the consent of the patent owner. Compulsory license, okay. Okay. Western, we developed this product for Western patients who can afford this product, quite honestly. The decision was challenged by Bayer. As the dispute dragged through the courts, the CEO of Bayer told investors that the company's compulsory license would, would not affect them because they developed it to be, to be sold to people in the West who could afford the product. The government of India was, was considering granting licenses on a dozen expensive cancer drugs, none of which were remotely affordable to the 1.3 billion people living in India. Drug companies around the world were alarmed by Nexavar compulsory license. 
They enlisted the Obama administration to seek a reversal and even more to block similar actions. Biden personally pressured the Indian government on the comp compulsory licensing issue in India and the United States. They were a factor um, in the decision to block further compulsory licenses. Hmm. I mean, this sounds like this doesn't sound like he was aiming to increase anything. It sounds like this was a, a disagreement between India and the United States with regard to like patent law. So it doesn't sound to me like this is a, an example of Biden wanting like wanting to raise rates, just him just him disagreeing with um, like, I don't even know. It's like very complicated. It sounds like this is like a dispute between a company um, in India and a company here. Do you think that's like, do you think that's enough? Like when we're looking at the fact that like, don't, like that Joe Biden right now has a plan to like actually lower drug prices to actually make sure more Americans like offering a public option would guarantee that any American who can't afford health insurance would get it. And provided he can make that happen, which I assume that he can, especially if the Democrats win, wouldn't that be really good? Even if like this particular, I don't know, like it's really hard for this in this particular issue for me to tell exactly what's going on because it sounds like it's a conflict between like U.S. and Indian firms. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say that like um, even if like even if Biden made the wrong decision in that particular instance or whatever, don't you think that the fact that right now his currently existing plan, which is outlined entirely on his site. And his real policy, real like hard, solid policy, not Donald Trump's promise of, oh, it's coming, it's coming, which he doesn't have one. He still hasn't. Doesn't it doesn't it yeah. seem like Biden would actually be able to um, like like his plan would probably save most Americans money by guaranteeing they have health care? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good plan. It's yeah. a good plan. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about him trying to cut uh, Social Security and Medicare and raise the retirement age and good welfare? Oh, you mean like back in the day? Over well it's like i know joe see. biden like way back in the old day there's that clip of him talking about how he's like yeah, yeah i'll yeah, cut yeah. i'll cut whatever as far as i know he like said that he was wrong about that um and he's been pretty on like he's, i don't like joe biden i think he's like again i'm not a democrat i'm a leftist yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. um but but like he as far as i remember and i might be misremembering this but i think in the primaries like he said oh yeah i don't agree with that anymore that's like what i said when i was like he was like 40 when he said that and he's like 70 now so like, yeah. yeah, maybe he was, you know, like, it sounds like he was made a really stupid decision back then, but to be fair, that was in the middle of like re the beginning of Reaganomics and a lot of people like him, um, were on the same mentality that doesn't excuse him. I still think it's bad, but I don't think it like mm. compares to Donald Trump right now who Donald Trump right now is trying to cut social security and Biden is not. So like in my mind, even if Biden, again, if Biden was wrong, then Sure. In fact, tonight during the debate, I don't know if you watched the debate, but during the debate, um, I it. oh, did you? Yeah, I watched it with uh, who was, it was Stephen Crowder. Yeah, oh, it. Stephen Crowder. Ooh, you gotta be careful around Stephen Crowder. Mm -hmm. the guy's a big liar. Yeah, you know that, a, right? He, he's a character. Yeah. Yeah. He he he's like like he's really dishonest. Like I did a video on him. He straight up lies like all the time. Like he, we did a video on him back in the past. I have it up on my YouTube channel where I was, wa I just said, so I said, somebody send me a Steven Crowder video and we'll talk about it. And he posted like in the video, he cites an article and he just shows the, the title of the article. And we went and found that article live on stream. And it turns out he had said the, uh, he was just showing the title. The article actually contradicted what he was saying. Yeah, gotta be careful around think, Crowder. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, but but what do you think about uh in the middle of this pandemic, Biden does, still does not want anyone under the age of sixty to buy the to be able to buy into Medicare. How you think? What do you think about that? I haven't. Well, I don't know about that. Does is, is that true? I thought he was pushing for a public option, which would mean that instead of buying into nope. Medicare, they would buy into I the public option. It. Huh? I think he's. I'll show you. I mean, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, do you think that's, do you think that that's a better, like, that that's worse than Donald Trump? Like Donald Trump, who's like literally in the middle of this pandemic actually did cut Medicaid. Like, that's the problem is like, like for me, it's like, yeah, um, I don't think Joe Biden's like a great candidate. I think there's lots of, there's some good things yeah. he did. Like, for example, I can tell you straight up, like the things that I really think that Joe Biden is actually good on, like not, um, cause again, um, I supported Bernie Sanders really hardcore. Love the guy. Um, but, uh, he didn't win. 
you know, it's just how it goes. Sometimes you don't, you don't always win. Um, mm. but when I look between Trump and, and Biden, like for example, um, Biden's really good. I think Biden's, um, like 2 trillion, um, e uh, economic stimulus for the, like not the green new deal. I can't remember what he calls it. The Biden plan <laughs> for the environment. Um, but that I think is like a really good plan. I think that's great. Um, uh, not good enough, but it's still good. It's better than anything, think, any of his other competitors besides Bernie Sanders put up. Um, and would, Donald Trump has nothing. That would destroy so many jobs. What's that? That would destroy so many jobs. Wait, how would it world. destroy jobs? Boy, about the fossil fuels and all, and just those, those, that's a lot of jobs. Wait, are you? That, are, a lot of jobs do with fossil fuels. Well, there are a lot Someone of jobs in fossil deal. fuels, but do you know what? Do you know what's more important than a lot of jobs in fossil fuels? What's that? Having a planet that you can live on. Well, I mean, what? What's? Hold on, we're in a real bad something. place. I get it right. Here. Yeah, we're in a real bad place. Our planet's not doing so hot. Our climate is real, str really struggling. Like, I mean, I live on the west coast, so this whole the the entire summer we were in, we couldn't go outside because the smoke was so thick because of wildfires and those wildfires are caused by okay, like let's... climate change. Okay, let me let's go to you want to go to climate crisis now. Yeah, sure. I mean sure. Well, that's what I was talking about. I was just okay. trying to tell you the things I actually think that Joe Biden's yeah. pretty good on. Um Yeah. But yeah. Oh, hey, uh sorry if I interrupt here. I just wanted to address yeah. somebody in the chat. Hey, uh 1 2 asphyxia, welcome to the channel. Um thanks for hopping by. We're just having a chat about um talking about Trump voting for Trump or Biden. And I'm trying to make a case for why Biden is a better candidate than Trump. I don't really think Biden's a great candidate, but I think he's way better than Trump. Uh, I think he'll do a lot less harm. That's, that's basically the thing, just so you know, but welcome. What do you think about, uh, one of his climate advisors made $1 million from one natural gas company alone, while many others have ties to the industry as well. Uh, who, sorry? What, uh, to my Biden, to my, one of his advisors made $1 million from one natural gas company alone, while many others have ties to the industry as well. Oh, yeah. That. I mean, that's unfortunately yeah. true about ev about all politicians mm -hmm. right now. It's yeah. really, really bad. Um, and that's something, again, that's something I focus on a lot. Um, you know, I uh, I talk about capitalism a whole lot. And that's one of those things is like um, people like uh, the, the corruption like in the United States is really bad. But Donald Trump has not helped with that at all. Um, Donald Trump has actually been horrible for that. I mean fuck like half of his um original campaign staff are in jail like he had to pardon rich roger stone because like roger stone like did fraud while he was a part of the trump campaign so yeah um while i think that biden has a whole lot of like shitty people involved with him like i mean fuck he even thought he even said that he was like considering like putting john like john Kasich, who's a republican in his administration and i'm just like are you for real um it's nothing compared to donald trump donald trump has like literally put a lot of criminals in charge of stuff and those like a lot of them are in prison right now so donald trump is not exactly very good for american like uh, corruption or american democracy um and that's why i say again while biden isn't like the best candidate he's definitely better yeah. than trump and i think it's funny because like it's weird because like Trump is trying to frame him as like the anti-fracking guy, but if anything, him having a natural gas guy on his thing would show that he's not anti-fracking. You know, right? You know who the yeah, you know who the Sunrise movement is. Mm -hmm. You know that is. Yeah. You know the gay Biden the F minus, right? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you seen him about that? Yeah. Uh, do you I know mean, what they gave Trump by any chance? No, it just, it just yeah. shows Bernie, Warren, and Biden. It's, you want to know why they, it only shows Bernie, Warren, and, uh, Warren, and Biden? It's because it? um, the Republicans are so bad on the environment that they don't even rate them. They don't even bother because they don't care. Like, Donald Trump literally doesn't believe in climate change. And that's bad. I mean, that's really bad. There is, like, like oh, trying to argue against climate change at this point is, like, like, like trying to argue against gravity it really is like there is there is scientific consensus worldwide scientific awesome. consensus on the fact that our climate is dangerously changing oh hey thank you so much for the host vermin deeply appreciate it thank you we can what do you think about him wanting to pay uh brazil 12 20 billion dollars to stop the burning of the amazon it sounds Something great like to me um, I think yeah, that, yeah, now, yeah. now I don't know if that's the, the, the best solution, but, um, doing 
anything you possibly can to save the Amazon right now is really important. Like, you know, like um, scientists call the Amazon the lungs of the world because they produce like the Amazon rainforest produces like like 20 percent of the planet's oxygen. And if it keeps burning and I'll, no I'll note Bolsonaro is a far right candidate who's been compared to Trump. He's like friends with Trump. He's done the same policies as Trump. And what we've seen is, uh, oh, ho hold on. Sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to say like, welcome, welcome to all the VGGers. All of you who just came in chat, please come on, hang out on the website. I too have a GG website. Come on, come hang out. Come on over. Uh, it's right there. Demonmama.com forward slash live made by white nervosa. You all know her. So yeah, I got a website. White nervosa helped me build it. So yeah, come on over and come make your accounts. Get all cozy over here. We got more emotes and everything. Ones you like too. We even have, listen, for you VGGers, we have a secret. You can, if you can find the Dix emote, you can use the Dix emote. <laughs> special, special reference for my VGGers over there. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Happy to have you. Um, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Just got raided. You know how Twitch goes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so like the way that I look at it is like, um, like when we're talking about the lungs of the planet Earth, Every person, every human on the planet, um, we, like we benefit from those plants. Like we should be willing to do basically whatever we can to save the rainforest from from the clear cutting that's been happening under Bolsonaro. If that means we have to pay them to stop, sure. We're the richest country on the earth. Why wouldn't we? Right? Like imagine if somebody said like, imagine if you were like a real, like just I, pretend here. I know you said you weren't, but like, imagine you're like really, really rich. Like you have millions and millions and millions of dollars. You have a yacht, everything. And somebody says, um, hey, thank you so much for the sub, puppy puncha. Deeply appreciate it. Thank you. Mwah. Um, yeah. Imagine if somebody said, um, uh, I am going to burn out your lungs unless you pay me $200 and you're a millionaire. Wouldn't you go? Yeah. Fuck it. Take the 200 bucks. I don't care. Like, don't burn my lung out. Yeah. 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 So that's that's the way I look at it is like it sounds like a lot of money like 200 like 20 billion dollars. That sounds like a lot, but when we're talking about what we're saving, it's like you'd pay anything to save your lung, right? Um yeah. So yeah. That's that's the way that I look at it is like like when I think about it it's like, well, whatever we have to do to save the planet, we should be willing to do it. And Donald Trump doesn't even believe the planet's in danger in in the face of scientific evidence like you wouldn't take a, um if it, like imagine if joe biden came out tomorrow on this on the like stage and he said like gravity doesn't exist wouldn't you take him not seriously wouldn't you like be like the guy's crazy right <laughs> yeah 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 it'd be stupid right well the, the the sad thing unfortunately about donald trump is that he does that every single day every single day that he refuses to acknowledge climate change he may as well like we see it a little bit differently but it really isn't that much different um, there is so much evidence of, of man-made climate change, and he doesn't believe it. So when he goes up, and he also doesn't believe anything about coronavirus either, which we've seen. So when he does that, it's the same thing. You got to just, in your mind, you got to remember, like, that would be like if Joe Biden walked out and said he didn't believe in gravity. It's that silly. And so I feel like on that alone, like, it's worth considering voting for Biden instead of Trump. Because, like, Trump doesn't even believe that the planet's in danger. And you're you're young. You're 18. Um, I might be dead before the planet is like in real hard shape, but you just still have a quite a few years. Like, yeah, I don't think you so want to be living underwater, right? No. Nah. Yeah. I so mean, that is a serious about, problem. Yeah. What do you think about Biden telling people that isolating in their homes during the coronavirus is unfair to all of us and it's unnecessary for all of us? Um, we're doing what? Sorry. Staying isolating ourselves in our homes is unfair to all of us. And it's unnecessary for all of us. Um, I, I don't know what that was in refer reference to. It's coronavirus. Uh, oh, I mean, I think he, I mean, like, was he just sort of like expressing his feelings? Like, because uh, Joe Biden has been in support of, um, has been in support of all, basically all of the quarantine procedures. I think probably, I don't know the context of that quote, but it sounds to me like he was like trying to reach out to people and be like, it sucks. You know what I mean? Because it, it does. Be, I mean, well, he said, what's that? Well, he said it's unnecessary huh. for all of us. That sounds yeah, weird. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, he's kind of right to a certain degree in that, um, Joe Biden is correct in saying we should not be at this point. If we had shut down now, I, I again, I live on the West Coast. I live in Washington state, one of the states that's like 
handled it the best. We had the first outbreak in the country and we went into quarantine and we've had to be going quarantine a couple times because again, we weren't even aggressive enough, but we quarantined really quick and it sucked, but we have much less cases right here in Washington. Right now we might be at a point where um, like in a few months we might have like semi-normal life again. But other yeah. con other places in the country aren't going to do that because they waited and they kept their economies open for too long. So like Joe Biden's right. Like we if we had just done one successful shutdown like other countries did, um, we could have we wouldn't have had to be in this for this long. And that's something that really gets me. That's one of the biggest things that makes me say that Trump like nobody should be voting for Donald Trump. Nobody, not even people who like him. And the reason is, is that like we're the only we're one of the only countries on the earth that's dealing with this still. And because he's been so bad at dealing with coronavirus, we might have to live like this for years. That's terrible yeah. to think about, right? And like, yeah. it, we, none of us want to do that, right? Like, you don't like this, no, right? I mean, yeah, it sucks. Well, right? I'm out of school. I get out of school, so. Well, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> you don't want to stay out of school forever, right? Uh, no. Yeah. So it kind of sucks. Like, and like, the whole thing is like, the way I look at it is like, um, if we'd just done what what medical experts told us to do at the beginning, this we wouldn't have had to do any of this. And now, if if Trump wins again, like w there's going to be what like how is he going to handle the fact that like medical experts are saying that no matter what we do, even if we do the best tactics that we possibly can, two hundred thousand more Americans might die that are likely to die this winter. That's scary, yes. right? You know, he actually opposed a uh, health care policy that will provide masks to every American during the pandemic. He Who actually did? did? He actually Trump? did. It. Biden did that. Bi Biden did that. Did he? Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know that he did. I've never heard of that. Um, I've saying. never heard of, again, that's another one I've never heard of. Um, but, um, yeah, I've never heard of him supporting, it, like, not supporting anything like that. And, in fact, I think he pushed for mask for, like, mandatory mask yeah i thought that was yeah i thought that was shot down by trump because trump doesn't believe in masks well no he didn't it was a policy that he opposed a health care policy that provides that wait from what role like sorry, personally because he's not a he's not a senator anymore he's just a he's just running for president so he can't actually oppose anything like that like he doesn't vote on it he's not he doesn't have a a job in politics right now well, let me find out what it yeah. Let me ask you a different question. What do you think of, uh, let me find it. Sure, sure. You want to get on a different topic? Yeah, I, I'm fine with whatever. I, I mm. honestly, my goal, my goal is to hopefully convince you to reconsider voting for Biden. Yeah. And so we'll, I'll talk about whatever. Yeah, whatever you want to. I'm, what do you I'm think really about the, uh, Paul believes the criminal in justice and drugs? Um, what do I think about, about like, uh, uh, sorry, a, a, a subscription notification came up. Um, uh, thank you, Urus me, uh, Yeah, go ahead again. Let me, what do you think about the crime bill? Oh, it was shit. Yeah, it was shit. Like one of yeah. the worst, worst things that, that yeah. Biden ever did. And in fact, tonight during the debate, yeah. you'll remember, he said that it was a mistake, which I think is honest. Like he stood up on the stage and said, yeah, well, that was bad. Well, well, the other day when he was on the, the, who was he? Was it? He's on Breakfast Club. He was on a. He was on a an interview with him. He said it wasn't a mistake. Um, I'll show you the video. He actually, he actually called Hillary Clinton dumb for saying it was. Really recently? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Yeah, find it. Maybe. I mean. Yeah, it's time to. Uh, do I mean, he said time. it tonight on national news that um that like that he thought it was a mistake and that they that like and he wasn't the only one. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Here's that thing that you were talking about, by the way. I just got a, a link from chat. Um, it was the White House that that shot down that plan, not not Biden. Just so you know, that was Trump. Yeah. Here, here. It's yeah, it's uh, in the chat if you want it. I can I can send it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can go now. Yeah, it's just something worth considering. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, real B star, you do. There's just a small glitch with the um, with the chat UI that's not updating the names right away it will update it just takes a little while i don't know what's happening don't worry the sub names will update it just takes a little bit of time i don't know what's up it's um it's just something with the site um they do exist the colors do exist it just doesn't update immediately i think it takes like i don't know it takes some time to to go through to the server it's okay we'll figure it out yeah see wenland has the name the star name i don't know what it is exactly um yeah <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, uh, sorry. The, the streamer thing, you know. Um, yeah. He, he, he. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. So it's like like the whole thing is like. Um, yeah, he said tonight. Now maybe maybe in the past he didn't. Maybe he's rethought it. But tonight he was on national news and he said pretty honestly like. A lot of other people voted with me at that time, and it was a mistake, and it was a disaster. And he, and he, it is true that he um, actually, um, he, that like he actually did um, fight against it a lot. I mean, like it is, it's a fact that he, that him and Obama pardoned a lot of drug offenders, nonviolent drug offenders, like a lot. Like I think it was like no, thir no, no, like no. like thousands. It was a break is record breaking. It, yeah, it, yeah. It was a lot. So that's pretty good. I mean, as far as you, it's not, it's not great. Like I would, and, and I will say though, the other thing too, which, and this is pretty, pretty cool because I, I mean, I don't know about you. Um, I don't know if it's legal where you're, where you're at, but I love weed. I love weed. You know what I mean? Um, uh, big fan. And so when I heard yeah, yeah. Kamala Harris say, um, or Kamala Harris, I always get her name wrong, but, um, Kamala Harris, when she said, um, like we want, we support marijuana legalization. I was oh, like, Hey, What's that? Joe Biden doesn't. Joe Biden doesn't. Oh, he does. Let me show you. Yeah, he said I'll he does you, now. I'll show you. Yeah. He does? Yeah, he, 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 he changed on it. Yep. They they, they have he formally just said it changed. a couple weeks ago. What? No, wait. Changed no, no, no. The, the DNC, the DNC, like the Democratic National Committee, they don't. They don't officially support it. But 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 Joe Biden does and his presidential platform. So like the way it works is like, um, so like uh the DNC is like its own organization, right? And they choose who's running. Thank you very much for the subscription, Argonian bum. I agree. Great name. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so um, the DNC is like an organization and they have a like a suggested platform, which is like um, they took legalized marijuana off their suggested platform, which was really unpopular, by the way. Um, but the thing is, is that Biden and, and Kamala Harris don't have to um, actually abide by that if they don't want to. It's just what the DNC suggests. Um, so people were mad about them, like the DNC shooting it down, but, yeah. um, but Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, like, uh, said that they do support, um, the legalization of weed. So, yeah. So what that's pretty about, good, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about him, like making the opioid, opioid epidemic, uh, made it harder to treat? What do you think about that? Um, in what way? How did he do that? I thought I see, he, I um, I didn't he support, um... Didn't Joe Biden? Joe Biden has pretty fervently supported, um, like decriminalizing addiction, and like he talked about it actually quite a bit tonight, and pointed to his plan. He has like a plan, um, to never put drug addicts in jail unless they do like a violent oh, crime. Uh, well, he pushed the death penalty even to those on drug charges. When? He, uh, I don't think then he, he did. wants to dump three hundred billion dollars into more cops and then of. I can't say the word. I can't say that word. Let me send it to you. Oh yeah. Oh oh. God, but here's the thing. Um. And and like I don't. I support defunding the police. Right. Um. Donald Trump yeah. is not. Donald Trump is not going to to like address the police at all. Donald Trump literally supports the police in their current thing. He was just out there on the campaign trail saying that he wants them to be rougher. He wants the police to be worse. Like Donald Trump. Like. Like Donald Trump peddled like like conspiracy theories about George Floyd. He's like really been bad on that. Joe Biden isn't great on it, but Joe Biden, he says he wants to give more police, more money to the police for a specific reason. And that's for training. He doesn't want to give them any money for anything else. The money that he has set in his plan is only for training and they can't spend it on anything else. So that's not actually that bad. Um, as much, I don't think that police should get any more money, but the, but specifically the money that Joe Biden has in his policy, he specifically said it will not be to be used on anything. They can't use it to hire new police. They can only use it to pay for better training for their police. So that's not actually all that bad, even though he is technically not defunding the police, which is something that I would support. I think police, police, um, departments in America are out of fucking control. They're fucking horrible. Like, especially on my side of the coast. Like, over here on the West Coast, the police are fucking crazy. Like, those guys are yeah. assholes. Um, but, uh, oh, hey, Straza Pretty, good to see you. Um, but, um, but yeah, but, like, <laughs> Joe Biden's, like, Joe Biden's goal is, was to, like, make them do more training. And he won't give them money except for, for training. So I don't think that's really that bad, right? 
What about him working with uh, segregationists to allow for the execution of drug dealers, convict of a homicide, and expand Silva's asset for for for, for future? I can't say that word. Okay. Allowing the government to take property from people who aren't even charged nor convicted of a crime. Yeah, wasn't that during the um like the crime bill like in the eighties? No, this this recently. Yeah. Um. Well, I don't know. I haven't heard of him say anything like that recently. I don't even know. Wait, who, wait what segregationist oh, oh, this, was he oh, this, working with recently? Oh, this, uh, are there uh, even any segregationists left like that are that are in public office? Let me see. Yeah, because I don't think he does that. Like again, tonight he did say that. Um, he did. Uh, um, he did say like he he doesn't think that his original like approach to the drug war is bad. And like, here's the thing. Um, here's the thing. Like, um, like. Um, Joe Biden, like, again, um, I don't think that he has like a good approach towards, dr like towards drugs, but Donald Trump is, is undeniably worse, like undeniably worse. Like he literally, like, this is Donald Trump is the guy who said that, like, I mean, first of all, like if we're talking about people pushing for the death penalty, Donald Trump pushed for the, 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 uh, Central Park five to get executed and they didn't even do a crime. They didn't even do anything. They were falsely accused. And he doubled down on that. So, like, Joe yes. Biden isn't perfect for sure. Like, in fact, I would argue he's pretty bad on, like, when it comes to police, that's probably his weakest spot. Joe Biden's pretty weak on that. But Donald Trump is way worse. Donald Trump doesn't want any oversight over the police. He wants to give them more power. Like, the police, this year, in the year of, in the year of 2020, Donald Trump is doubling, double, doubling down on it. Didn't he sign a bill to reform the police? Didn't he do that? Donald Trump? Not that I know. Yeah, of. didn't he sign? I think I he signed think a bill to reform the police. Donald he Trump signed a bill to he, reform he, the police. He this signed is... a bill to reform something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he's done anything. Like, like he's been literally making fun of people for calling for police reform. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm yeah. thinking of the first step back. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, it sucks. What's your thoughts? But yeah. What's your thoughts about the first step back? First step. About that? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, the first step back. Off the top of my head. Let me see. Maybe I I might know of it, but I don't know it by name. First Step Act. Yep. Was it Obama? First Step Act. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's see here. Let me just take a look. Who did this? So in 2018, President Trump signed into law First Step Act (FSA). The act was a culmination of bipartisan effort to improve crit criminal justice outcomes, as well as to reduce the size of federal prison population while creating mechanisms to maintain public safety uh a risk and needs this the first step act make uh, requires the attorney general to develop a risk and needs assessment program to be used by bop in, inmates which is bureau of prisons inmates to assess re recidivism risk and criminogenic needs of all federal prisoners and to place prisoners in re recidivism reducing programs and productive activities to address their needs and reduce this risk under this, it provides guidance. I mean, this doesn't seem particularly influential, but it doesn't sound like a horrible step. Like, I mean, I think that our like prisons in America are really bad, and most of most of the the biggest problems in prisons with prisons in America is um is um is the uh, what's it called fucking private prisons, which Joe Biden is unequivocally against. Joe Biden literally called for the banning of public prisons or uh, not public of private prisons, which would be great. Getting rid of private prisons would be a huge, a huge step in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, um, Kamala brought it up in the VP debate. Like she said, we want to get rid of all private prisons. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's a huge problem, CTV. Yeah. No, I, I, I do what? agree. Like, I, I don't. Um, I'm very, very against the current. Um the uh the the current um prison system in the united states we're just discussing right now like how to choose between biden and trump which are our options like it or not yeah those are the options that we have before us it's just a fact yeah banning private prisons would be a huge step are you kidding me that'd be amazing like like 10 percent of the prison population in america is in private prisons private prisons with which, which contract out their prisoners as slave labor that's terrible that's monstrous yeah. So I, I think that's a good step. Um, again, I don't think Biden, like, do you know, you know what I would have given, you know what I would have given to have Bernie up on that stage? Holy shit. <laughs>
<laughs> I'd, I'd give my fucking right arm to have Bernie up there fighting, uh, fighting against Trump instead of Biden. But, you know, we got Biden. That's just, we gotta, we have to, you know, decide who's the better one out of the two of them. I want to talk about, uh, this is a big, this is a big part for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Race. I'm talking about race. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. Right. What do you think about the, whenever you fought against desegregation? Oh, the terrible. Desegregating the schools. Yeah, And terrible. he's talking about, he don't want his kids to grow up in a racial jungle. I mean. Yeah, terrible. Um, I, I agree. Terrible. It's fucking terrible. Um, but again, like, and again, this is not me making any excuses for Biden. I, I unequivocally think that that part is shit. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. I didn't didn't vote for him in the primary. That's horrible. But again, like, um, you know, his past is not his present. And um, like his current his current platform is better than what he said in the past. And he's clearly demonstrated some change. Like, I don't like Joe Biden, but I mean, mm -hmm. I, like, like he's really not like he's not the same person that he was like not only that like two of his sons have died like i mean his he's he's actually talked personally about like how much his son hunter who does have a drug problem like him learning firsthand about having a member of his family struggle with drugs um is like uh is like has taught him a lot about it so he's changed a lot of his views now again that doesn't necessarily mean that he's good and i think his comments are just terrible i mean in fact kamala harris called him out on it before but we but again we only can choose between the two and if we look at donald trump donald trump tonight in the debate was was g saying oh china is a disgusting country india absolutely filthy disgusting actively churning out racism donald trump actively encouraging police to be harder saying that the be like blm protesters that um the black lives matter movement that people fighting for racial justice in the current day are like violent antifa thugs like what are you what are your thoughts on BLM? Oh, I what mean, do you think about that? I mean, it, like as a movement or as an organization? Like, because there's two. Like, it depends on what you're talking about. Because there is like the as, formal BLM organization, but which one do you agree on? Oh, all I'm, lives matter or Black Lives Matter? Well, I mean, I don't think it's a dichotomy between the two, right? Like, I don't think there's well, a dichotomy I, between those two. I don't think you have to choose between those. Uh, like, I know that like people, the, the saying that like all lives matter, the like s the slogan is used as like a counter to black lives matter. Um, but the black lives matter, the reason why that slogan exists um, is like the reason why the, um, the, the slogan like black lives matter exists is because the idea is that currently our police system does not believe that. Um, and it's true. Our police system doesn't seem to respect the lives of black people very much. Um, and it's pretty sickening, honestly. Um, and, uh, and so like, uh, the, the all lives matter thing, like, do I believe that all human lives matter? Absolutely. 100%. But as a slogan, as a political slogan, the reason why people say black lives matter is because currently in our current timeline, the police do not act as though, um, black lives matter and that's what they're you, trying to change what do you think about the uh the david dorn situation david dorn you know that is yeah david dorn wait wasn't that the like a policeman or yeah i got shot oh, the black yeah, oh, yeah, wait, seven wait. year old uh wait that was the guy who that was the old the like the cop the policeman oh, retired. what's that retired, yeah he got yeah. shot and retired. then like um his his wife or his his ex-wife went to the rnc against the wishes of his daughter of his daughters and his current and his like wife his current wife at the time of his death and they said don't go he would not have wanted you to go say this stuff at the rnc but she yeah, did cause he's, yeah yeah because you're helping young people i mean yeah well i mean do you i mean uh the blm there was a the dude the riders killed him you know so I what mean, do you think do you really think they believe black lives matter well, wait, or, do you think I mean, that they're like still, they're still taking them? I mean, well, the, but yeah, like, my my chat brought up a good point. The murderer who killed him went to like went to like he's charged. He went to prison. The problem is that happens yeah. with 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 the the like the police is that they don't go to prison. They don't face anything. A lot of times, like what situation? Like what? Oh, like Breonna like Taylor, for example. Like how? That would nah. I don't nah. Wait, really? Bro, wait, wait. Her, in her Breonna Taylor, shooting through the door, bro. I wait, mean, no, 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 no. Like, like, you can't. Hold on a second. In Breonna Taylor's case, like straight up, 
like the police were 100% in the wrong and the DA was so favorable to the police that he didn't have any investigation until after protests began. So that kind of speaks to the case of BLM, right? So what would you think? If you're, if you, if somebody shooting at you, okay? Put well, you in a situation. Let me put you in a situation. Sure, sure. If somebody is shooting at you, would you not shoot back? Well, I mean... If somebody's trying to take your life... Wait, what do you mean? Like... Like Breonna Taylor. That's well, yeah, but in, Bri in the case of Breonna Taylor, they had... They... They... They didn't knock. They kicked in the door. They didn't Who's announce... It? They didn't announce that they were police. And a guy, Breonna Taylor's boyfriend at the time, fired at the police because he didn't know they were the police. He... When he called... In fact, we have... We now have access to the recordings. And if you go and actually listen to the recordings that he called when he called the police he called the police after Brianna Taylor was shot because he didn't know it was the police that came in until way later that's how long it took them to even let him know that it was the police for all he knew they were burglars for all he knew they were home invaders he literally called the police like after she was dead she's dead on the ground and he picks up his phone calls the police this is a matter of public record now he calls and goes help somebody invaded my home and killed my girlfriend and I fired at them, but they killed her. What else would you do, though? Wait, what I mean, do you mean, what else would you he, do? He, the he police are in the wrong there. He was instantly, he instantly shot at him. Wait, yeah. Shot if Wait, wait. He are you telling instantly. me that if somebody, wait, if you're, are you telling me that if somebody kicked in the door of your house, that you wouldn't pull a gun and fire at them if they kicked in the door of your house? Well, That's what I mean, they did. Well, if you knew that Breonna Taylor was a criminal, I mean. Wait, but she's not it, a criminal. It was a no-knock, it was a no-knock warrant. Yeah, they I didn't think, have right? a no-knock warrant. That's the whole thing. They day? didn't have one. It was a knock warrant and they didn't knock. The police are 100% in the wrong here. They were 100% in the wrong. Like, it's it's unequivocal. Right here, right and here even after if, and 15 hours worth of grand jury audio wait, was released. Grand yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go listen to it. Go listen to it. police officers were at the raid of Ms. Taylor's apartment said the group knocked and announced their presence several times. The police said the that. But do you know who didn't? Every witness. <laughs> Every the grand single did it with the audio. No, every single the, witness, the, every the, single witness who was brought before the grand jury said they did not hear any knock. They did not hear any announcement of the police. So the police, right I mean, it, it is true. Like if, like if the police want to, to lie about what they did, they're just lying about a crime that they committed. The police committed a crime. They're in the wrong. And if, and, all the witnesses, all of the other people in that apartment building said they never heard a single thing. Well, so I mean, the police... Well, I mean, let's be serious. They will, go, they will all get canceled if they say they did. I mean... Wait, what obviously. do you mean? Wait, wait. They're they police. What do, you, what do you mean cancel? Well, didn't, you, didn't you say the people in the apartment said they didn't hear nothing? Yeah, they didn't. didn't. They went under oath. They Why testified they under oath that they didn't hear that they didn't hear the police. Yeah. What do you mean That's canceled? Funny. This is a this is a grand well, jury. This is, this right is a pr like you're the you're protected. The grand jurors heard at least two police officers. What the the, the police the officers the, though? The police the, officers. The, the, the grand jurors heard this with the audio. Who were at the raid at her apartment? Say the group knocked and announced their presence several times before breaking down the door. They didn't though. That's what the grand. There's no evidence that that happened. What, go go the, research the, audios, the case. The audio, are you are so, you like? There's listen. There's no evidence that they didn't they didn't do that. Wait. Yes, Basically. but that's why when somebody's dead and they killed somebody, you have to have evidence to prove that they actually had a reason to kill her, and they didn't. They don't have a reason to kill but, her. In fact, they, the in fact, wait out. a second. I mean, in fact, what? they had no reason to to even they had they weren't even as far as I understand they weren't even going there for Brianna Taylor. They were going there to try and get some ex that she wasn't even with anymore. So they fucked up so hard; it's actually unbelievable. Like, that's well, a huge... I mean, Wait, do you think that the police... Hold on, just I have a quick question, because I, I don't want to, like, spend all night relitigating the Breonna yeah, Taylor yeah, yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's yeah. a really different conversation. Do you think that the police can do things wrong? Of course, I okay. mean... So you believe course. that it's possible that the police could do something wrong, and then, because they don't want to go to jail themselves, they might not tell the truth, right? Listen, listen, anybody with, like, anybody with common sense, right... Uh -huh. If somebody is, if you, if, especially if you're a police officer, especially if you're a police officer. Sure. If you get threatened, 
Okay. But like, what's his name? What was the dude with the knife? What was his name? I mean, he was walking. He was walking around with the knife. He threatened to go. What's Who? his name? Let me let me find, the dude that's crippled now. I forgot his name. But we, we can only even sing it. But uh. Wait, this is but this is somebody, a different situation though. You can't. We can't like. Look, well, it's, it's Black Lives Matter. It's a dude that getting killed. Wait, are you talking about the guy who got shot in the back like seven times? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait. This dude is already... Well, we, we're talking about him a second ago. We're talking about him a second. Yeah. But, uh... I was going to say... Anybody yeah. with a right mind... Okay. We, we don't know if they... I think they're not. I mean, they heard the audio. Anybody with a right mind, if they get shot at, they're going to they gonna shoot to kill. Joe Biden says shoot for the leg. I mean... Wait, what, wait. What does that even mean? Wait, wait. No, wait. Hold on a second, though. Wait. Like... You're, you're blurring a couple of things together. You're right you know that if somebody comes into your house with a gun, you are correct that that anybody in their right mind who has a gun yeah, would yeah. defend themselves, which is what Brianna me? Taylor's boyfriend did. And you're trying to say he was in the wrong when but the cops, steal, wait, when, when plain clothes officers kick down his door in the middle of the night and he fired at them. And then they but killed his girlfriend they who was unarmed. They announced it, bro. They, but they, they didn't. It. Here's the thing. E How let's even, wait, 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 wait. Let's even grant, let's even grant that maybe they did. Let me just, let me just give you, let's, let's make a little thought experiment. Let's say, let's grant that they did announce it. Okay. What if he didn't hear them? Well, they, I, they kicked down his door in the middle of the night and came in in plain clothes. What, what, they didn't have to do it that way. What else is he supposed to do? Wait. What, what do you else mean? What are they supposed to do? Wait, they they're, they, they're the police. If you can't hear them. What else is they supposed to do? Wait, they're the police. What do you think? So, do you think that it's normal to arrest somebody by kicking down their door in the middle of the night and running in with guns blazing? Do you think that's a normal of course, arrest? Keep, no. Of course, get, oh, get them come off on. Guard. You know, you know better than Whenever this. you. Come on, this um, isn't no, that isn't what, normal. That's not how people are arrested. They received approval for a no knock entry anyway. They didn't. They do that. No, that that is not they, true. That is they, that is literally not true. Go look it up. I promise you, you're not correct on that. You're not correct on that. They did not have a no-knock warrant. They were specifically given by a judge that they were not, they did not have a no-knock warrant. This was well, this was already just like, because the whole thing is, is that like Fox News and Steven Crowder and all these people lied about that over and over and over again. And it was confirmed that that is not the case. They did not have a no-knock warrant. And the other, po the mm. other problem with this too, is that this is not how arrests are generally done. This is how arrests are done when police want to kill someone. This is how fucking Fred Hampton was killed. You know Fred Hampton? No, who is he? Um, let me just send you a little little article on him. Somebody you could learn about. Let me just give you... Here's our... He was a, a, a civil rights activist. Let me just send this to you. You can read about him. This is how he was killed. Um, he was killed in this, in this particular way. There you go. Um... Fred Hampton was one of the most famous um, civil rights um, organizers of all time. Um, really famous black organizer. And this was how he was killed, in the same way. They didn't have to do this. There was no reason for them to believe that he would that he was like a violent criminal that needed to be killed right then and there, that they needed to burst down his door and make an arrest. There's all kinds of ways to arrest people. You can wait at their work and arrest them at their work. You can... Uh, wait outside their house and arrest them at their house. You don't have to ki have a plain clothes police team kick down the door in the middle of the night and go in to arrest. And this is where it gets really weird. They're going in to arrest someone who was potentially connected to an ex who was the person they were actually looking for. So they were so wrong on so many levels. That's really no. fucked. Like, is that the no, type of country you want to live in? Is a country where, no. where the police can just bash down the door of anyone and kill whoever they want? But they don't kill whoever they want, though. I mean, let's be serious. They killed Brianna, Brianna the, Taylor. The She's first, dead. The, but how was they... They was getting shot at. I mean... They didn't even shoot the guy with I mean, the gun. They're so inept. They're so inept that they not only missed and shot into a neighbor's apartment, they shot the person I mean, who wasn't armed. But did he get charged, though? No. He didn't get charged. No. They haven't charged anybody. Wait, this is this the, is still on ongoing. No, nah, this is back on Fred Hampton though. Yeah. You know what the the hold on, I just seen it. I just hold on, let me find it again. I just had it in front of my eyes. Hold on, hold on. What a I just seen this crap all up. Oh, you're as Mick Pearl. Oh, right here, right here. Right here. I'm sure, is my girlfriend. Right okay, you know what the Black Party, the Panther Party, like you know what they're. Yeah, I know a lot about the Black was. Panther Party. It was an open carry armed citizens patrol 
cop watching, they called it, yeah. to monitor the behavior of officers of the Oakland Police Department and challenge police brutality. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, that's awesome. I mean that's they, really good. They're using they their Second had, Amendment I mean, rights <laughs> and their First Amendment rights. That's like literally good. Do you know what happened? Do wait, do you remember wait, do you know what, what America was like for black people in the like in the nineteen fifties to nineteen sixties? Do you know that like it was really bad, right? Well, I mean it was racist. I mean yeah, it was really I mean, bad I mean, though. That was bad. But I mean, like you you do know that at that time, like open members of the KKK were members of the police. So you can imagine how dangerous right. it would be to be black yeah. at that time, right? Yeah, well, I mean... So do you think they were wrong for, KKK for using... KKK ain't around no more, I mean... Oh, that's not true. They definitely they are. They around no more. Well, they're not as well, big I mean, as they Biden, used to be, but Joe they Biden definitely still exist. Praised, well, Joe Biden praised the former KKK live on TV. He praised them. The former KKK? Yeah, he praised them live Who? on TV. Who? Joe Biden did. Who? Wait, who I'll you, did I'll he show praise? I'll send you the thing. I'll send I'll, I'll you the thing. Yeah, sure. I mean, here's the thing. Um... Again, we've gotten a little bit off topic, but what I'm trying to point out is that, like, Donald Trump has not exactly done a good job um, addressing the issues with the police. And while Joe Biden isn't, like, going to do a perfect job, he's at least going to aim to do something, whereas Donald Trump has literally said he wants more of this. So why would you vote? Why would you, being a young you know, 18-year-old person, why would you want to vote for Donald Trump, a guy who's going to support police killing people like it he, was a uh, robert bird robert Beard robert song. bird senator yeah, bird he, when, yeah, when, when yeah. did he say that? like he know. was recruited for the clan while in his 20s mm. i mean i don't know i i i have no i have no clue yeah i, I seen you i seen yeah. video. yeah i mean it's possible but again like is this isn't this something that was done like like 40 years ago and is still bad we're talking about now we're talking about it's not bad now. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, not, it, it would be bad if he did it now. It's not as bad as like, it's bad then. But but like, I'm not saying I'm not saying what he did was good. But what we're talking about is like we're comparing him to Donald Trump, and Donald Trump is the current president who has been in charge to over. He's been in charge, and done nothing to address the killings of George Floyd, to address the killings of Jacob Blake, to address the killings of of Breonna Taylor, and many many more, J J many many more. Jacob Blake was. Was hostile. They gave him so many. I don't know, they gave dude. Him so many opportunities. Bro. I don't know, dude. Them. I saw that listen, video. Listen, I saw that video listen. with my own fucking two eyes. You didn't see the full video, then. Yes, but, I did. But yeah, but listen, was he was he, he disobeying them? These, wait, listen. was he, wait? Hold on, hold on. What was he disobeying them? Yeah. Oh yeah. He of course he was. But disobeying the police isn't a death sentence. It should not I be. Paid. It shouldn't be. They, are you cr are, are, wait? Are you serious? Dude. Is that the type of world they you want? Wanna... Wait, wait, wait. I do mean... you think that the world? Do you think that the world we should live in is one with like? Have you ever seen the movie Judge Dredd? No. You know. Exactly. Okay. So Judge Dredd is this character um, who says, "I am the law," and then he shoots people oh, in the yeah, face. Yeah, 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 you know him. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that's Judge Dredd. That's not. I don't believe that we should have a police force that's made up of Judge Dredd. Like. I recognize that the police have to deal with some dangerous things sometime, but we also pay, we not only do we pay them, we give them armor and all this kind of shit. We give them training. We give them, we, the state endorses the police. So the police have to be responsible. Their job, the police are supposed to ensure that they, that they apprehend a criminal so that that criminal can see their just day in court. They're not supposed to kill them. That like, now, there might be a case so, where, say, like, the police are going into a place and it's like a movie and it's like Scarface and he pulls out a big machine gun and they, they have no choice. But they shouldn't <laughs> be resorting to violence as frequently as they do. And just so you know, American police are world, are, are infamous around the world for being some of the most violent police in the world. We have very yeah. violent police. And Donald Trump wants but, more. Donald Trump wants more of that. He's literally said that, like, openly. He does, there's no con contest about that. Joe Biden wants less of that. And Donald Trump wants more. So why I'm saying is like, if we don't want a world with Judge Dredd cops who just blow off the head of anybody that they want, why would we support the candidate that wants worse police? Back on, what's his name? Jacob Blake. He yeah. was a terrible person. He was. Wait, wait, wait. But this is, this is just, was, wait, wait, hold on. You can't just say, you're doing the, the, he was no angel thing. I don't oh care. No, I'm tell you, he was known for being like, like he was known for being dangerous. Wait, who he cares? Pulled guns on, he pulled guns on people. He already, he Wait, always that, fights that, cops. That doesn't he matter. To the girls. That I doesn't mean, matter. None of that matters. This is just he, he was no angel. You're just, you're, wait, wait, listen. You're literally just doing he was no angel. 
it's no, that that is but not good. Just listen. He even a criminal the police. Wait. What? A criminal With a knife in his hand. A criminal. First of all, no, the knife was not in his hand. I re I yes, recall this directly. The car. There was. They said there was a knife. Wait, wait, wait. They said there was a knife in his car. They tased him, and he hand. went to go. He went to go in his car. He was disobeying them. I will agree you. And then they shot him in the back seven times. Not the one time. Saying, not two him. times. They shot him in the back seven times. So I'm sorry, but to me. This just sounds like you're making any excuse imaginable uh, to justify <laughs> to justify what the police do. And I don't think that that's really good, right? The, he had a knife in his hand, bro. Well, I it's mean, I disagree. I bro. disagree. I don't think that that evidence it's, has been shown. There's a, there's a, there's a picture right there. They had a cramp in his hand. I'll show you. Yeah, I, I just uploaded it to the regular, the regular. Oh, wait, what? Did you put in the Discord or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. See that? See oh, that uh, Husker Do. Sorry, sorry, Husker Do. Um, the on screen is on my website, demonmama.com forward slash live. Sorry, I'm not keeping up with chat right now because I'm in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Husker Do. Yeah, you can sign in with Twitch and everything. It's not even a big process. Um, wait, where did you put this link? In the the general chat. Wait a second. Politics. You cannot tell me no, that you know what that is. Picture. This is the most blurriest photo. Look, stream, just so we know what we're looking at here. Look at the, look at the next photo. Look at, look at the next photo. Yeah, I'm looking at the next photo. That? Wait, I'm looking at both of Let these me, photos. And are I, you I, me? Wait, are you, are you, are you for real right now? Like I'm this kidding, this right here? Wait, hold on a second. Listen, what do you with all due respect, is? with all due respect, this is not enough evidence for me to say that a man... What? Wait a second, listen to me. You have to let me finish. This is, yeah, yeah. this may as well be like, like... This may this looks like what you're sending me right now looks like like uh, when people show um like pictures of 9/11 and then they circle the plane because this I, you cannot tell what this is this could be his wallet you have no idea this is the blurriest a, photo I've ever seen and wait a minute wait a minute but I'm not done this is the thing you're using this blurry ass photo as a justification for why he was shot in the back seven times do you realize how psychotic that makes you listen bro. You telling me that doesn't look like a knife? I don't know why, what that is. That Maybe it is a knife. You could be right. It so might be a knife. Me, but guess what? So but guess what? That doesn't look like the picture below. What? So that doesn't that doesn't look like the picture below, at all. What? It has no similarities. I'm sorry. What are you the, talking about? Picture, Did you send something else? The pic, the picture of the knife. No, it doesn't. Wait, wait, wait. That, but that picture of him. It looking it looking similar, doesn't mean anything. It's a blurry ass photo. We have no oh. idea. You're just wait a minute. You're just look at look at what's behind him. Do you see the guy behind him with the gun drawn? Yeah, That's the confirmed. Insane. Yeah. Sorry. You're 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 telling me I should be I should be justifying this guy being shot in the back seven times because of a blurry photo with with, yes. with a blurry photo of something that could have been a knife, maybe, and might have oh. been something else. This is this is ridiculous. Like, uh, no offense, have, no offense to you, but you are granting, you are granting so much in, in, and, and this is in multiple cases. You were willing to justify, um, you were willing to justify saying that like all kinds of things that weren't true about, about the Breonna Taylor case. And now you're doing the same thing in this case. You uh, like, telling me that doesn't look like a knife, bro. I don't know. No, I'm dead serious. Look, listen, and let's let, you know what? Let's let chat decide. Did. Chat. <laughs> hey, chat. Do you think that this is confirmed evidence, that this red circled photo right here is confirmed enough evidence um, to, be a, uh, to be a knife? One of those knives I sent you. I mean, I, I don't know. It could be, I this mean, could be, I don't know. What, what could it be? It's curved. Do you, do you think, angle. wait a minute, it let me ask you this. In. Hold on a second. I got a question for you. Here's a better question. If you got shot in the back seven times and this was the evidence that was presented against you in court, after the would you be arguing the same way no because it looks like a knife i mean yo so you'd be like yeah oh damn that does look like a knife i guess i deserve to get shot in the back the, the, um, but they gave him so many opportunities to stop wait wait if but they have guns pointed, he, was no no, he was no I angel he was no angel you're just doing that on purpose he I was no think angel he did, listen i actually think he did this on purpose to be honest with you because anybody with damn. the right mind Anybody with the right mind wouldn't go up to the car with the kids with while guns are being pointed at you Nobody would do that. Do you know what this Nobody sounds, would, do you know what this and sounds he, like? And he already had got charged with, with putting kids in danger. He already got charged with that. I so mean, I do you know what this sounds like? 
this sounds like you're bending over backwards to justify the police, the powers of the state, killing some yeah, or trying to kill somebody. Why? What I even heard that he said he's going to get his gun. Wait, wait, why? Wait, why? Why would he go? Stop, up wait, to wait, the stop, car? stop, stop! Listen. I'm asking you a question. Why? Yeah. Why are you why going would? this hard to try and preserve? The idea that the police could not have possibly ever fucked up. You not only did it, and it's not just here no, with I Jacob Blake. Do, wait, 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 I'm not done. It's not just that you didn't just do it here with Jacob Blake. You did it with Breonna Taylor. Are you, what's next? Are you going to tell me up. that like George Floyd uh, deserved it too? Well, I don't know. I don't. Oh yeah, he, boy. He, he, do you I think Trayvon Martin deserved I it? He, I also, I also think he just died by, uh, by, with drugs. Ah, yeah. okay. All yeah. right. So, okay, drugs. we've we've figured yeah, it out. I've to... I've I've got it now. Listen, um, this has been a really good conversation, but what you're mm -hmm. doing right now is conspiracy theory. And How I listen, l listen. I understand if you have questions about certain circumstances, but what you're doing right yeah. now is you are bending over backwards to justify the violence of the police, and you're finding any excuse. I bring up any of these people, and you're like, oh well, he probably died of drugs. You've been watching listen. too much Steven Crowder. I'm serious. Steve, you, but, you, if you but. want to, listen, if you want to, you're 18, you're young. If you want to understand politics in more depth, you have to become more skeptical of the sources that you're, that you're reading from. Because with, with people like Crowder, you know that Crowder is paid money to support Republicans. Like, that's his thing. That's what he does. He is a partisan. Right? But I mean, bro. I mean, look at the look at it though. Wait, wait. He was known to do wait, this stuff wait, anywhere wait, you're, it goes. You're, it, that sounds like you're like like. Oh my fault, my fault. Stuck. Yeah. But look at the picture though. Wait, I don't care about this. He was this. known. Wait, wait. To, he was known to do this stuff anywhere this is just, it goes. He was no angel. This is just, he was no angel. He putting his kid's life in danger. What? So you're, what? You're just doing. He was no angel. That's no, what listen. you're saying. But look, bro. Wait. If he has guns. Point it at him. Okay. What would you do? You would walk up to your car. I even heard that he Wait. said that he was going to get his gun out of his car, which he already pulled guns off multiple people. Do you want to know what but I would do if I was the police you, in that situation? Would, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can tell no, you exactly. About, we'll about I'm, I'm looking at this picture. There's like four guys, four or five police officers in this picture versus one dude. I would not yeah. be as much of a giant fucking pussy as these goddamn well, police that they need to blow them in the back, blow, shoot him se seven times in the back. Do you think? Do you think it's like it's like virtuous for a cop to shoot a guy in the back seven times, even if he has a knife? Let me even grant you that. I I can tell you firsthand because I've been in a lot of intense mm. situations in my own life, and that's me. I'm not like the biggest, strongest person in the world. I've had a guy fucking threatening to choke me in the middle of the woods, and I didn't fucking blow shoot him in the back seven times. I'm not as much of a pussy as these fucking cops. That's what it is. Oh. That, that's what it is. <laughs> it's they these cops. They gave him every opportunity. No, see, what you're doing here is you're making any them, excuse you can for the pussy cops who had to shoot a guy in the back I seven just... times. Look, they've even got Ooh. a picture here right afterwards. <laughs> he was getting in his car and they shot him in the back. He wasn't throwing a knife at he them. Was, you'd think, wait a minute. You'd think, you'd store. think, hold on a second. You'd think if this guy was so dangerous with his karambit that you're so sure that this blurry oh, yeah, yeah. as fuck photo shows, if this yeah. guy was so dangerous, don't you think he would have got one of the cops? Ah, he didn't oh, yeah. though. I'm, it looks like oh, he was oh, just trying to go and mind his own business. Whether he was doing it, whether mm -hmm. that was a good thing or not, the guy wasn't... He didn't get any of the cops. In these pictures, he could have gotten them if he wanted to. If that's really a knife, if that was really a knife, oh, he could have yeah, fucking killed nice. these that's guys. Why they're standing back. But he didn't. That's why they tased Wait him. Wait a that's minute. But look at him right here. The that. cop is grabbing him. Guy, Cops still didn't get stabbed. None of those cops got stabbed. But do you want to know what happened? <laughs> a guy got shot in the back seven times. The cops didn't get hurt. For something in his car. Apparently, he said he was getting something out of his car. A gun, quote unquote. I mean... The, according to that. the people who killed him, yeah. If they, it's if wait, wait. Did, knife, would you do this for they... like? Would you do this for like a um? Would you do this for like a um? For like a like a serial killer, like if a serial oh, killer, something. like um? Would something, you be something. like oh, uh, like like just do apologia for like a serial killer? Yeah. Uh no, because he killed multiple people. Oh, oh okay. But, I mean, well, the cops kill multiple people all the well, time. Cops kill, cops kill mean, people all the time. But he. Well, if you want to talk about, well, who get yeah, to kill mostly whites? They kill way more whites than blacks. So what happens if what happens if there was a serial killer who was like on trial, and the serial killer was like, but but your honor, wait wait wait, but your honor, I didn't do it, 
And then yes, you, would you just go, well, he said he didn't do it. No. You do realize that people will no. lie so that they don't go to prison, right? This happens like all the time, right? Of course. Right. Well, so why, what makes you think the police wouldn't lie and say, oh, he had a gun. We, that's why we shot him in the back seven times. Even though no, none of the cops were injured. None of the cops even got cut with a knife. It's just weird how that turned out, how he ended up dead and none of the cops ended up hurt. Opportunity. And he still walked up to get something out of his car with a gun pointed at him. Okay. I mean, do what's you that think supposed to dumb? prove? Was doesn't that say what, more to what, my case? On, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. If you have guns pointed at you, mm -hmm. would you still walk up to your car to say you're getting something at your car? I mean, I, I heard don't a know. gun. Like, would you do that? Me personally? Would you no. do that? No. But like, I don't know what's going okay. on in this guy's head. I don't even know what if he's what if he's having he a mental breakdown. Tased. You don't know. Wait, so, no wait, 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 he if the guy is trying to leave, down. that shows that he's fleeing. Keep in mind, you're justifying, you're coming on this show to justify a guy getting shot in the back seven times. You're not, not even a guy who shot in the front. He was shot in the back seven times at point blank range. These cops, they killed him. Why didn't they just put him in cuffs? If they have him in, in close enough quarters to shoot him at point blank in the back seven times... Oh, he's not dead. That's right. Sorry, I forgot. He didn't actually die. But still, seven fucking shots. I forgot this guy didn't... The, the Jacob Blake didn't actually die. Yeah, so like... um, Why didn't they just put him in cuffs? If they've got him there where they can shoot him in the back seven times, why not just put him in cuffs? They do what they're supposed to do because cops aren't executioners. Cops are supposed to bring Bro. people in to go and have... What what you're doing here is you're coming on here and you're just saying you don't believe in, ju the just, in justice. What justice? He had a... Bro... In the video, in the video, you can hear the, the police officer saying, drop the knife. Okay. They said that. Yeah. You know what else happened? You know that okay. police used to sprinkle crack. You know that the police used to sprinkle crack on the, on the bodies of dead black guys that they killed? That actually happened? That they would do that to say, I mean, oh yeah, he had drugs on him. Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, cops can I, do I bad things know. too. I, As it turns out. Okay. And they, they can do right things. They well, can yeah, do but I don't think that things. shooting somebody seven times in the back is something that you should, that should, like, don't you it, feel like that shouldn't be the hill that you're dying on? And it's also really weird to me that you, in every case that we've brought up, you've sided with the cops, despite the fact that all the evidence, all of the evidence says that the cops shouldn't have killed them. You side should, with the cops mm, without question. That's weird, isn't it? But they was getting shot at. I mean, wait, do you they think can't that, help wait, that, bro. Let me ask they you something. help them getting shot at. And do you believe in the death penalty? In, do you believe in oh, the death yeah, penalty? Of course. Okay, so you of believe course. in the death penalty. Do you believe that people should be I, um, killed? Like, wait, do you believe in the death penalty without trial? Like, do you believe that if somebody's guilty, that it's okay to kill no. them no matter what? No. Okay, so if that's the case, then why the fuck... Would you defend the police not doing Bro, their one way? Hold on. Not doing their one job. The police's job is to apprehend someone so that they can go to court where the justice system says you have a fair trial. As it turns out, having a knife is not illegal. Um, having a knife is not worthy of the death penalty. But this guy got shot in the back seven times. And, even, and that's even if the police are telling the truth. And he did have a knife. We don't know that. And the only thing that you're able to provide is a blurry ass picture of, of something that looks this vaguely is, curved. And you're like, oh, it's totally a knife. He because, wait, do you know what that is? Do you know what we call that? Listen, 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 listen. Do you know what we call that? We call that bias. That's How bias. That bias? It was a real knife. Though. Wait, wait. That's bias. You seeing a blurry photo. It was and, a real knife, Wait, wait, wait. Though. You don't know what it is in that photo. Neither I do I. You, the, bro, the police officer literally yelled The police the video, who shot the, the man. This is like believing the serial killer. That was carrying the knife. You. This is they like believing the, the serial killer when he says, I didn't do it, your honor. He, the cops shot the guy seven times. They need to show the evidence. What you have is a blurry photo. And quit, keep in mind quit. that they, let's wait, they let's they even put video. this one aside because we've talked about a lot of things tonight. Yeah. Let's put that one. Let's yeah. let's put Jacob Blake aside. Let's pretend. Let's right. pretend that, that everything that you've said here is is worthy evidence. You did the yeah. same thing for George Floyd, and you did the same thing for Breonna Taylor. Do you know what that sounds like? Well, that sounds really like to me that you side with the cops no matter what, and that you won't even consider when the cops do something bad, if you, bad at all. Listen, if Just you saying. get put in the cop situation, you would do the exact same thing. No, I would thing. not. 
I can I That's can assure fact. you 100 percent I am 1000 percent sure that I am not as enough okay. I am not as much of a coward that I would shoot somebody in the back seven times I can also tell you that I wouldn't kick down the door and blow the shit out of somebody who doesn't have a gun and then miss the guy who actually does have the gun but, this is just oh, cop apology they, this is they pathetic was, they was getting shot at too they was Wait, this is this is this is this went from a conversation they're, about why I now know why you're voting for Trump and the real reason uh, is that <laughs> what's that the no. reason why okay. like like I engaged oh, in good faith on a lot of points but what you're doing right now what you've done is you've come on and you went from talking about why you should vote for Trump or Biden and now you're just doing blanket apologia for the cops you've been unwilling to even consider the fact that the cops could be bad you're just okay with them killing people you might say you're not, but you, your arguments you are. Of course, people need to get killed any way it goes. That's a fact. Well, wait, that what? That is a fact. If, somebody's, if somebody is putting somebody's life in danger, wait. they should be taken out. Do you know who if put... Wait, wait. Do you know who put Breonna Taylor's well, life in danger? The police. The police her put her life in danger. Her boyfriend. No, her that boyfriend is not is. true. Her boyfriend was not even there. The cops... Who shot him then? The cops put her life in danger. Her? Wait a second. You are lying right now. And I'm sorry, How but you are. Lying? You're being dishonest. You lying? asked me at the very beginning of this conversation, at the very beginning of this conversation, you said, if somebody came into your house with guns blazing, would you not, uh, would you not I fire back? Them. I mean, which means, obviously. wait a minute, but that's you being, you say. are, wait, stop. I know. That means I'm trying to explain the logic that you've laid out here with your own arguments, okay? Because so your own arguments, you said, yeah, it would be rational for someone to fire at someone. Well, guess what? Brianna Taylor's current boyfriend, all that he knew is that someone in plain clothes kicked in his door and came in with a gun. He rightfully defended himself in that circumstance, and now uh, you're saying it's his fault against your own logic. How do they know he came on, they came in with a gun? How do you know that? They wait. That is un, That is not doubted. That even the police said that that was the case. They enter with their guns drawn. That's what happens when they kick down the door. So let me let me ask you a question. Yeah. See, you're just willing to make in up the, anything to say to justify what the, the police Jacob did. Jacob Blake case. Wait. Can I ask you in something? The Jacob Blake case. Wait. Wait. Yep, wait. Listen. Wait, you're pivoting all over the place now. I just have yep. a question. Do you hate black well, people? Still, bro. I'm, my sacred family is black. Okay. So then they call me the white cream. So of the if family. that's the case, okay, <laughs> and that's the case, and you say whatever, you say whatever you want to say. Yeah. If you don't hate black people, why the no. fuck are you doing a, taking every opportunity you can to side with the police who execute innocent black people? Why don't Why don't they talk about white people again? They do. Black Black, black, black Lives Matter does, where, and where, that's a pivot. Where? That's neither here nor where? there. Wait a where? second. Wait a minute. Where? Wait a I minute. Want to see something like Hold that. on I want a second. That. Have you been on somebody else's to... channel recently? No, I haven't. Were you on Vosh's channel recently? Who is Vosh's? I don't know who that is. Don't You're me. trolling me, aren't you? You're the, this is the oh, same God, conversation Vosh I'm... had. Who is Vosh? Oh, oh come oh, on. Don't, don't lie to me. You are the I guy, swear, aren't you? I swear to God. You're laughing. You know, you know you're the guy. No, same conversation. Like, you're laughing. Person. You're totally the same guy. Who is Vosh? Yeah, yeah, who right. Okay. That? Yeah, all right. Listen. A I lot of look, chat, I chat. Anybody who came over here from 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 VGG, is this the guy that Vosh was debating the other day who said the exact same thing about BLM not talking things about white people? Also did the exact same thing about put the same uh conspiracy theory shit about um about Brianna Taylor, same conspiracy shit about Jacob Blake. Uh, is this uh, the this same is guy? The first this is the first conversation I had. All right, all right, all right. I'll give you this chance. This Listen, subject. I'll give you this chance. What uh, you're doing right now, yeah, and this has been a good yeah. conversation. It's gone on for a, yeah. a while. We're not really yeah. talking about the original topic. But what I will say is that you do a lot, a lot of apologia for the police. And you do so much apologia of for the police. Course, bro. That, wait, wait, hold on. You do so much apologia for the police that you actually ignore your own arguments. And it's really we funny because... What's that? You literally mm -hmm. said you made the argument that Brianna Taylor's boyfriend would have been justified to fire at the police. And then you immediately said, well, yeah, no, because they were police. But he didn't know that. He had no way of knowing that. There's no way to know if plainclothes officer kick in your door. So what I hear, what I hear over and over and over again is that no matter <laughs> what, you will always side with the police. Which of, means to me that you uh, probably like always. I don't know all of the cases we've talked about. Would. 
So what would a policeman have to do in your mind? What would a policeman have to do in order to actually, um, like, um, in order to actually, um, like, like what would a police per person have to do in order to actually do something wrong? Like, um, like if a policeman, if there was a guy, um, like for example, like there was a guy in his backyard and he's grilling and uh, he's a black yeah. guy, you know, and he's grilling and he's like, oh yeah, he's grilling and he, he has a knife cause he's cutting some meat and he picks up the knife and a policeman and, he's grilling. and a police just like fires at him with a sniper rifle from across town. Do you think that would be justified? Yeah, that, that would have been, yeah, they would have been in the prison. Wait, the police Obviously. would be or the guy with the knife? Because it sounds like the, you're, you the might side with the police. Oh, the police Obviously. should be. Okay. So that's, that's the line. Had all reasons. Every so then reason what is different about that? shoot at these dudes. Wait, what is the reason? So what's the reason? What what reason did they have to kill Breonna Taylor? Breonna, Breonna Taylor. She got caught in a crossfire. Wait a minute. The she got caught in a crossfire with who? Oh my God. With her boyfriend? With that her that boyfriend who wasn't the police. criminal that they were there to arrest? They were there to arrest her ex. And they fucked up. How would... He doesn't how live there know, anymore. The cops fucked up, and you won't admit it. Even though they did. They didn't mess up. They did. How did they mess up? How did they mess up? Okay, let me tell you how they messed up. One, they had the wrong oh. house. The ex didn't live there anymore. They'd been separated for, I think it was like three months at the time of it. They didn't have a no-knock warrant. They didn't announce that they were the police. They were, or if they did, if they did announce that they were the police, they did so so quietly that no one else who was there, none where's of the, the witnesses, the wait, video? wait, none of the witnesses heard it. And then they not only didn't kill the guy who actually shot at them, which they shouldn't have because he was rightfully defending himself, but they actually shot someone who was in bed with no weapon. They fucked up so bad, and you're still playing apologia for them. That, to me, is this. sad. Let me watch this video. Just, let me see this. Go for it. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're watching like a Steven Crowder clip so that's been like edited. No, I'm watching the real. I'm watching the body cam footage. I have a feeling. You're telling me. I have a feeling that if no, there, if there was a guy who had what? been shot from across town with a sniper while he was holding a, a knife in his backyard, that you would be doing cop apologia right now. Listen, I got a question. Yeah, sure. What if this is a white person? What if, what if it happened to a white person? Would be fucking terrible. What would it, what would it, would it be an outrage like it is right now? Uh, yeah. No, Are you kidding me? No, it yes, it would. No, it wouldn't. Wait, as it turns out, okay. this just doesn't okay, happen to white people very often. Wow, it just why, doesn't. Why was there not an outrage? Wait, do you the, know? The do you know like how killed a four-year-old walked up to a four-year-old riding his bike Wait, in front of his yard and shot him right in the what face? Are you, what are you talking what about? I don't know right what there? the fuck you're talking about. Oh, I mean, did it happen? Uh, I know, I know about a situation in uh, that just so happened. That just happened. This was like a, like two months ago in Salt Lake City, where the police fucking shot a 13 year old white autistic kid, and um and there was a huge outrage about that. Uh, and BLM you, was a part of the protest about you, that. So you're just wrong. I'm right about that. I don't. You're think just you, wrong. You just make up a fa wait. You just think that's listen. Actually, listen. You've you know, just made up a fantasy world that you live in where. You've just made up a fantasy world where people supposedly don't care about it when white people are killed, but they supposedly do when black people are killed. Despite the fact that literally, in the case of Breonna Taylor, it took a protest for there to even be a grand jury. They weren't even investigating it prior to that. It took protests. Oh, okay. Yeah, Charles Kinsey, uh, mental, mental, which, okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. So, Sorry. But look, listen, this has been a really intense conversation and I, I, I applaud you for coming on and being willing to debate it um, in front of like 100 people. That's fucking cool as shit. Um, but I will say, I would recommend challenging your assumptions about the police because what we've seen- They don't do nothing wrong, bro. I mean, they don't do nothing wrong. There listen, we go. I mean, bro, there, you played your bro. hand. You, you okay, played it too far. You You're trolling let me, you, me. let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. The Jacob Blake. Okay, Jacob Blake. Yeah, what, what is it now? He's going to be, did, he had a ray gun in his pocket or something. What would you do? Know. What would you do if you were that police officer? Wait, if I was that police he resist, officer? Listen, he resisted arrest. Mm -hmm. He obviously had a knife in his hand. They they were screaming uh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knife. You're fabricating that. Now. We don't know that, but okay. Guilty until proven is then innocent. That's how you they go. Told, they told, he walked up to the car with, while they pulled the guns out, they already tased them. They, he already fought them. What would you do in that situation? What would I do in that situation? Hey, guess what? We got yeah, four guys on him. We something. put them in cuffs. That's what you do. It's easy. You gonna, it's really simple. You, They've got four so guys. You, in this picture, we can see three different cops. Wait, wait, wait. You you asked me a they question. Wait, wait. We, you asked me a question. Now it's my turn. We can see yeah. three guys in this picture. 
you're telling me that those three motherfucking big ass guys there can't put him in 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 handcuffs nice. and they have to shoot him in the back seven times? Get the he fuck out of here. Life. Get the fuck oh, out of here. You life. think you think you think that that like black people are like super soldiers who can just kill all the police by looking at them. That's ridiculous. There's they, three he, ripped ass police officers he, in this photo that you sent me. The, you're telling me those motherfucking pussies can't lo can't get him into into cuffs? Come on. That's pathetic. The cops listen, need to go back to training again he, then. They already they already fought him. They I don't know. They got him. Them. He's they, in this very they picture that you showed him. me. In the picture them. that you've showed me That's is a enough. guy who's That's pinned enough. up against his That's car enough. and there's three cops on him. They can put him in cuffs. They didn't. They shot him. And you want to know why they shot him? They want to shot. They shot him because it's become normalized in our country to kill or to attempt to execute <laughs> black people. That's why. The That's why. Is black on black violence is uh don't get out get out of here with that fucking pivot get the fuck out of here i knew it i knew you're fucking joking what get the fuck out of here with that all right what? listen nice meme nice meme it's been nice talking with you um uh, I'm, do you what's that huh oh he left i didn't kick him he left i didn't kick him he left I'm a hundred percent sure this was the guy that argued with Vosh. This is a hundred percent the guy. You, he came in with the Vosh. Oh wait, you banned him? Oh okay. He's giggling. I don't know. Yeah, he was laughing at it. He was laughing at it. Yeah, that was interesting. Listen, uh, in the future, don't don't kick him out during the call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gina, I understand, but let me handle that part, okay? In the future, don't do that because I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want anybody to, like, it, it could put me in a position. I don't want anybody to accuse me of, like, kicking them out of the calls in the future, all right? Listen, that was that was an interesting-ass conversation. Um, I think we went over a lot of interesting stuff. Um, nonetheless, even Oscar. though it was a total meme, 100% total meme. That guy was memeing. Yeah, it's okay, Gina. Don't worry about it. I understand, but just, yeah, let me handle that part. Um, I do agree that he kind of went across the line, but let me handle that when it's a live call. Um, when it's chat, then whatever, but it wasn't him. Yeah. They had the same arguments. You're a simple Trump supporter who randomly popped in. I don't know who this Voosh is. Want to debate on controversial topics? Why? Sure. You died twice, Mittnerd? Wait, Mittnerd, you got to get on the, on the site. Come join the site chat. I have a website now, Mittnerd. Come join. Come, come reserve your username. I believe all black people are black. Yeah. That guy 100% hated black people. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I wouldn't have said that at the beginning, but that guy literally, like he was willing to do apologia for the most disgusting examples. And only when I literally made up a joke example of like a, of a cop with a sniper rifle shooting at a guy with a knife. Uh, 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 only dimensions. Nah, uh, 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 that shit does not get out of here. Nope. You don't, don't fucking post that shit in my chat. Don't fucking post that bullshit in my chat. All right. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Holy shit. All right. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Um, yeah, exactly. Uris McProl. Like these guys, literally, um, like 100%. Like they are, I'm like, we, in the video that he showed in the video or in the photo that he sent me, there's three fucking cops there. Are you telling me that three cops can't stop a guy who's clearly walking away from them he's not fighting them he's walking away yeah yeah they have tons of options but not for these guys because people like this guy who were just in here this dimensions guy um they they are okay they are okay with fucking blasting the shit out of anyone oh as long as they're black don't they're white no 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 but if they're black it's okay it's fucking wild nah 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 don't worry about it. oh i did i ban him yeah you can keep him banned it's all good yeah, he, he started posting conspiracy shit in the chat. Listen, I if, if he's still listening, I wish you I wish you the best. Please do some more research in the future. But that was just some fucking troll shit right there. That was some fucking troll shit. Yeah, look at this. I mean, this was the evidence. This was the amazing evidence. Yeah, please stop watching Crowder. Crowder is a disgusting liar. Wait, I need to get rid of the speaking with. Look at this. This was the evidence that he wanted me to accept as to why it was okay for him to be shot in the back seven times. This. This, this is keys. This is probably car keys. He's walking to his car. These are probably his keys. Literally ridiculous. Actually ridiculous.